Howdy everyone. Welcome back to the Brit Farms Sim Farm Sim Edition. Um, as you can see, I have been bailing some hay. And I do actually have some cattle on this farm now since the last video. Um, those are all calves. So, I'm gonna be, I've been cutting hay off this field here since this grass. And then I've been kind of bailing it up. But, uh, cut up about half of it and then bailed half of, or bailed that half and I'll go over here and cut some more and then bail some more got about half a wagon load so I'm gonna go in here and cut some hay cut some more hay because I need some my corn isn't ready to harvest yet I do have some corn over by the uh, elevator that I want that I will be cutting soon, but it just hasn't. It's just not ready yet. So it probably it'll be ready for the next video, I'm sure. But just using this case for an actual wind rower, their cutter here, and to cut this hay because it's wider and it's faster than the normal size cutter. So and I did uh, didn't have the money for the big M crone mower so that's the reason why I, I'm using this one and I do have the GPS mod on this one so it's easier to steer control so I can run faster not to worry about missing any either so that's nice I got just about eh, two maybe three more passes on this field here and then I'll be done this one, then I'll move to the other one, maybe in the next video. But I got a couple extra silos up. I got some, like I said, got a bunch of calves. I have a bunch of calves in this big red barn, but the problem is I think I overstocked it because some of the calves are out here in these fields here. So I had to move all of them to the husband husbandry or those fence, those pens there, to get them out of the field here. For some reason, it just didn't work right. I don't know what the deal was with it. I don't know if it's Something that's in a barn mod that's not quite the way it's supposed to be, or if I just ordered too, got too many of them, and a bunch of them was just roaming around the field, so I couldn't have that. So I may end up getting rid of that building right there. I'm not sure yet. I'd like to use it, but I'm not sure if I like the idea. I thought of having a bunch of calves running around the farm so we'll have to see on how that works I really like this here because it cuts a lot quicker it's wider and it's faster than those other mowing mods so I would probably use this as my main as one of my main mowers hay cutters I always thought these things were pretty cool. Kind of has a combine cab to it, but and a feel to it, just cutting hay. Wish I had one of these in real life. Go over here and bail this up real quick and then see if I want to do anything with that other field just yet. Run over here to this tractor baler real quick. Run, run, Forrest, run. I need to fertilize this hay field too. Lime it and fertilize it looks like. I 
I'm at 72% on hay on the wagon of being full. So stupid rain. How could it rain when I got hay down? I guess it's about normal. Look, it's already high moisture rain, uh, hay pretty much. Ain't that like normal? Cut hay and then it rains. Oh, maybe I need to, maybe that is not in operating. That's what the problem is. I wasn't in the operating mode. lost a lot of hay right there. Let's see if I can get those back, uh, collect those again. Well, I guess I need, uh, I had to sleep to try to, hopefully to make it where it's not raining now, so, there you go, I cheated some, okay, I know, I shouldn't have, I cheated, but I got tired of the rain, so. There he goes.
Tractor son, I just got a fuel filter going, uh, messing up on. I'm kind of liking this square bell deal now that I figured it out.
you know, find a good spot to store this hay. I'm trying to decide if I want to store it in this. I don't know if I want to store it in this thing or not, this big barn here, because I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that or not. Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it, cause, so I don't... Oops. I'm not tempted to keep it total, you know. So, uh, well, I may do sheds. Uh, I want to hate, see, production. Let's see. Let's see, so vehicles, vehicles and tools, vehicles and tools, the farm barn, vehicles and tools, Everything's vehicles and tools. Uh, it's the garage, sorry, vehicles and tools come out. Machinery. Well, I guess there's. Let's see, this bin can be used to store bales and pallets. Um, well, let's try this. Put, a, put that there, and then put that right beside it, and then another one right beside it. That works good, and then is there anything else for hay's storage? What's that? Store liquid manure, oh, okay. Store crops. Uh, no. Space for hay and straw with bell chopper, nah. Well, let's see what this does. I'm gonna drop this square baler off over here too, to get it out, so I don't have to mess with it. Let's see, stay gimmick. <clears throat> Did it again hit the wrong button? Yep, there it goes. Now go over here, hook this wagon up, and see how this works for dumping this, this wagon. I don't know if I have to try to push them off. Unloaded by hand or what? Let's see here. Oops. Unload. Unload, yes. See if I can uh, need a little. There it goes. That worked good. Park this over here and then go get that other wagon and unhook it or unload it.
one of these days I may go get me some more wagons if I'm going to be doing some more bells, square bells. That actually worked out pretty good. I haven't done, I haven't hardly done any square bells for on farm sim yet. I've done the big bells and round bells, but I really haven't gotten into the square bells like small like this, as uh, small square bells like this because I just didn't really have the need for it. But uh. I thought it'd be something cool to get into here, so. Okay. Let's go unload this. That's good. All right. I want to go in there and make a uh, make a good screenshot. Got that, got all that done in there, or unloaded, so that's good. I'm gonna go over here and drop this tractor and baler, or wagon off here. And shut this down. Go over here and look inside the barn, see how that's, see how that looks in there. That looks good in there. Looks nice and neat. Yeah. We got 193 bales. Sure this will hold more than 250. Hmm. All right, go folks. I think I'm going to call this a video. Uh Actually, you know, I'll go uh, to my combine to see if that corn is. I'll see if the corn's ready or not. Because I don't think it is. Still growing. So, apparently, that F3 uh, to make this grow faster didn't work this go around. Nope. Okay. Well, so hopefully that corn will be ready by next time. And I still got that whole field right there to cut for hay. So, we'll see how many more bales that makes. And then, I will probably make some more of these. Some of these, one of these fields hay next time. So, y'all have a good one. Take care. I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Maybe we'll get some corn combine, combining soon. So, I will see y'all. And the next one, y'all take it easy.